Okay. Oakley, Dokley. Let's mute myself in Discord for a second. So, uh, yes, I do have a friend in Discord, so he will be back in a bit if you hear another voice or if you hear me talking to somebody. Um, but yeah, basically, we are now back in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the Mooney uh, M20R Ovation and also here with on air going to do the flight that i didn't track yesterday <laughs> when i flew from um abbotsford municipal up here flew down to um arlington municipal here and then i did a little short across to whidby island and that little hop i completely forgot to track so i'm just going to quickly do that one uh and end up there this is part of our quests and then what we're going to do after that is either look to do the next leg of the quests or I am tempted because I have just bought Flight Beam's KPDX. We can see if there's any decent paying jobs that will take us down to Portland. Um, now what I also have done is checked out Sky Vector and as you can see the IFR, the wildfires today, has uh, largely cleared it's mostly around the coastal area so if i wanted to do a flight um mostly under ifr rules i can do so to get down to portland here uh, they're just the localized airspace restrictions for the firefighting aircraft and services so that's certainly possible today if i wanted to do that and i think that'll probably be somewhere around an hour and a half to hour and three quarter flight down there and it'd be nice to then just check out um kpdx from flight beam um if not i may just spawn a plane there anyway and just fly around to take a look we'll see um we'll see how we go uh but this short little hop let's get ourselves uh ready i uh i'm not going to open up little nav map yet actually for this little flight we'll open it up later so uh we're now in the aircraft let's get the game sound back on and let's uh yeah let's get this thing fired up shall we so i've actually got a proper checklist now as well so i'm actually going to go through by the proper checklist uh, printed out from the pilot's handbook um i'm just double checking make sure i'm on the right page so before starting check let's have a go because i don't actually think there's any checklists with this aircraft no, there's not Carinado really have done the bare minimum here but it's um, such a nice plane that i'm not going to complain too much um, um i don't know why that's on the left tank and not off but there we go anywho so where do we start here okay pre-flight inspection is completed seat belt shoulder harness yes that's all fine magneto starter switch actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the co-pilot off i don't like the co-pilot being on uh, magneto start switch is off everything here is off uh fuel boost pump boost pump switches are off both of them are off that's good directional gyro slaved if installed circuit breakers check all in well they're not modeled in this aircraft so they are all in ELT switch armed. What's the ELT switch? That'll be that one. It is in arm. I don't, I don't actually know what that is. But it is in arm. That's fine. <laughs> Rocker switches uh, off. Yeah, I. Are we referring to this now? Oh no, that's the battery select. Oh, I didn't realize we had two batteries on this. That's in, that's clever. Uh, I don't know what the rocker switches they're referring to are, but we will uh, assume that that's fine. Alternate static source is closed. And if I remember rightly, that's down here. Alt air, which is closed. The throttle is closed. Prop full forward, high RPM. So we'll do that now. Mixture idle cutoff. It is indeed. Parking brakes are set. Wing flap switch flaps up. Which they are. Defrost is off. Cabin vent and cabin heat are both 
off. Well, cabin vent is as desired, but I'm having it off. Fuel selector to the fullest tank. Now, from memory, I think our right tank has got the most fuel in it, but we'll double check that when we start the engine. All rocker switches off. Again, not sure what the rocker switches are. I'm assuming maybe they mean these, in which case they, they are. Um, okay. Pull for alternate static source. I think that's supposed to be over here, isn't it? Weird. Okay, anyway. Okay. Do, 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 do. Landing gear switch is in the down position, which it is. Next page. Red emergency gear extension handle down and latched. Where's that? Emergency gear handle. I doubt it's even modelled in this, is it? Ah, oh, there we go. Down and latched, and yes, I would say that's... Ah, that's where the pitch trim is near. I didn't notice that. Uh, so it does have a wheel as well as on the control on the yoke as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, how interesting. Can you actually operate it by that? You can indeed. Um, I digress. The red emergency gear extension handle is down and latched. Internal lights are off. Passenger briefing. We don't have any. Completed engine start. So the before starting checklist is done. Throttle must be set to full open. There we go. Prop full forward, high RPM. Check mixture full forward to rich. Master switch to on. There we go. Clear the master caution. Everything's going to fire on up. Alternator field switch to on as well. Annunciator lights pressed to test. All lights should illuminate. Uh, well, they do, very briefly. Uh, let's press it a few times just to double check them all. Yeah, that's everything that's lighting up. Good stuff. Low fuel boost pump switch on during engine start sequence. Your flight will it be is now until on. You land and shut down the engines. Throttle back to the idle position. Prop area clear. Clear prop is what I would normally lean out this little window here. Clear prop! <laughs> and then we're going to go... Uh, where am I? I've lost my pay lost my place. There we go. Turn and push to start. So we're going to get fire up the engine now. Ooh. We have a no go there. Let's try once more time. There we go. Now I'm just going to lean the fuel back just a tiny bit. So that's all good. Let's go to the after start. Oh, no, we're not quite there yet. Throttle idle, six to 700 RPM to check. Which it is, it's... Let that come back down. Let's check now the oil engine pressure, which is just inside the green arc, 35, 34 PSI. Oil temperature is rising. Ammeter check, we're all good. Fuel boost pump switch to off. Interior and exterior lights as desired. Fuel flow indicator test reset if desired. Huh. Uh, fuel well, uh, yeah, right tank was the fullest. Fuel flow's fine. Don't know how you reset that gauge anyway. Throttle 900 to 1000 RPM. Oh, so sensitive at the low end. That should be enough. Mixture, adjust for smooth operation. Well, I'm actually going to lean it out to peak EGT on the ground. That's what I like to do. So we're looking at about 570 there. That's it. There we go. Now, we don't have to worry about different types of engine starts. Not mentioning putting on the Avionics Master Switch. Um... Engine start checklist complete. Radio master switch on, which I'm going to assume is going to be the avionics. We'll go for that one. Put the yoke back now. And mixture to idle. Oh, no, I'm reading the wrong list. I was going to say, that's an idle cutoff then. No, I'm at the bottom of the page. Uh, elevator trim switch on. There we go. Internal lights is desired. Directional drive. Vacuum pump operational check. Back switch. Standby back switch on. Ah, oh, this is an actual taxi. Checks, so we don't need to do that. Right, let's close the window. 
I should have put on the, didn't say in the checklist weirdly, but uh, beacon, and I'm going to put on the nav lights too. I'm going to prepare, so I don't forget, the rudder trim. Now, for those of you that are flying this aircraft and maybe have realised that if I tr use the trim to the right on the rudder trim, It's not really going to do it very easily here. But if I move it to the right on the display, it does move the indicator to the right there. Which is fantastic, of course. But if I leave my mouse here on the tooltip and I operate the rudder trim on my yoke, it moves it to the right. But as you'll probably see, the indicator, in fact, moves to the left. Um, even though I can move it... Let's go back the other way. Yes, it needs see positive increments to the right. Actually, move it to the left. Um, now, that's fine and all, but obviously that's not right. Now, what a lot of people are thinking is that the display is correct. It's the input that's wrong. That's the wrong way around, actually. I think from my tests, it seems that um, the rudder trim is actually operating right. It's the it's this indicator that's the wrong way around. So I've actually trimmed to the left here. I think I've trimmed, it says here, minus 29%. Well, I've actually trimmed that to the left, not to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the other way around. Minus 29 to the right. And that should be a good takeoff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. A little bit too much there. Let's do 30, 29%, there we go. That's takeoff trim set correctly. Uh, but just think of this mirrored. That would be over here, which would be in the takeoff region. So we're good to go there. Okay. Everything else looks good here. Let's get some weather. I'm not using Vatsim or anything today, so we'll just use the standard radio. Let's tune Arlington ATIS. Are we? <laughs> Okay. Okay, so we have India. And apparently we're using one six. Okay. Interesting. Is that time with what we should be getting? Ten statue miles visibility. I'll tell it's somewhere near the same. Oh, that's what it is. That's fine. Um, one thing I have forgotten. Uh, oh, there is a departure procedure in there. Was it 250? Oh, no. Yeah, 250. Yeah, climb to 1,000. 250 until we're at or above 2000. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think here for a second. I need Navigraph charts up so I can see the layout of the. Oh, Navigraph charts has changed or moved. It's most certainly very strange. What's happened there then? I think something's happened there. I'm just going to turn off the screen for a moment because I think it's actually my antivirus it's probably done something there hasn't it because that's the only reason I can think that something would just disappear 
application has been blocked. find out right. why has Navagraph Chance disappeared? that is the weirdest thing I was literally using it the other day. I don't. I haven't uninstalled it. Nothing's changed. Hello. I'm just trying to find. How can I? Oculus tray tool. None of my antiviruses have picked it up. That is very strange. Don't know what's happened to Navigraph charts. Um, might have to. Have I still got the, the downloader for it? Brr, brr, brr. Navigraph plus charts.exe. Let's see what happens. Only for me. I think that's where I put it. Installation aborted. I don't understand. Anyway, we'll we'll go with that. We'll go without that. Let me turn Discord back on. Oh, mate, sorry to have you muted. I was I'm streaming, oh, so I just had um, had it muted for a sec. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've just noticed we've lost comms. Nav one and com one. Oh, what were you streaming on Twitch? YouTube. Oh, nice. I still am. Oh, okay. I'll watch what I say then. <laughs> my bit of software that I use for stuff has seemingly uh, uninstalled itself or something. I don't understand. Um, so that's really annoying. Okay, so one six is going to be uh, bang a left out of here, basically. So. Taxi lights on. Taxiing to runway one six. Fucking brakes off. Off we go. Hopefully, I've got the direction right. Yeah, it's a charts app that I use. Um, it gives me all the charts and things like that, but it's also got. I'm moving maps so that I can uh, see where I am at different airfields and stuff. So I'm trying yeah, to find yeah. taxi locations and things. But yeah, I just went to start it up, and the shortcuts just saying there's no application there anymore. So I thought, what the hell? So I don't know what's happened. I've just checked my antiviruses to see if they quarantined it, but they didn't. So I'm not entirely sure what's happened. It's just disappeared off my computer. Just that is really weird. very strange. Yeah, and the installer won't install. So I'm not. Quite sure what's happened there. I'll check that out later, I think. <clears throat> da -da -da. Fuck it, I'm just gonna book on to that. I'm gonna get paid off Mandy anyway, so. so. Oh, are you Valiant. booking on to Valiant? Yeah. Yeah, good man. It's, it's the 18th for the next. We're planning on a 9th for... Yeah. It's the 18th, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The 10th, uh, 11th for... Yeah. I'm oh, sure. shit, I'm heading to the wrong runway. Oh, well. It's going to do. That's 
three knots of wind out that way. Looking at the sock. The three knots coming from the right, that's fine. Actually, if I remember rightly, Whidbey's got an arm of approach, I might fly that. Ah, uh, they got a little run-up area, so in this run-up area I might quickly load in the RNAV2 would be, we're getting a bit of rain now on the... so there is a bit of rain here myself into the wind, which according to the sock is coming from this way. That'll do. Right, before I do a run up, let's check the RNAV. Which I can't do with Navigraph charts now. Uh, so let me do it here with this, so uh, we're doing K O K A W O A N U W. Ah, oh, there was, but it depends on what runway we're going to get, doesn't it? If they're doing runway one six here at Arlington, should we anticipate one? I think we should do anticipate one four. So let's zoom in to the chart. So what have we got here? So be. Oh, let's crack on down here. Flight plan. Uh, that's annoyingly that's exactly what I want. Clear that one out. Let's fly to Sobe. S O B E E, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Yep, Sobe. 33 nautical miles. Mm, maybe. Uh, then Zongu. Next one. So oh, I thought going that way would be quicker. Oh. Longu. Then finally. Okay. And come on, and you W. Right. I didn't do the before tra taxi checklist because I'm silly. Let's just see if I do standby.
Standby back. Standby back is illuminated. Standby back switch off. Not illuminated. It is everything else. Instruments, radios, altimeter. Uh, switch tanks, verify engine runs another tank. Engine still runs on the other tank. That's still the fullest, so we'll switch back to the right. Yeah, that's all fine. Four taxi checklist complete, rotor trim as desired, done. Okay. Before takeoff, parking and brake is set. Fuel selector for this tank, which is throttle thousand RPM. Which is not. Pop that up a bit. Okay, mixture full forward. Alternate air verify closed, which it is. Alternate field switch verify on throttle 2000 RPM. Uh. Magneto. Both to L. The drops all good. 150 RPM max drop, 50 difference, so that's fine. Back to both. Both to right. That's all good. Back to both. Cycle the RPM, make sure that's working. See if it returns back to 2000, which it does. And we turn nice positive charge going in. Low fuel boost pump switch. Put it on, light goes blue. That's fine. Elevator trim takeoff setting, which it basically is. I'm going to put a bit more nose down. I like it a little bit more nose down. Rudder trim is already done. Wing flaps, let's get those into takeoff. Down, indicated, and verified. Where was I? Flight controls, check free. And clear, which they are. Cabin doors, seats, and belts all done. Avionics and autopilot all done. Lancia lights. Everything's good. Strobe lights, rotating beacon should be on. Well, I'll do that when I get it to the uh, runway. Gear handle is down and latch. We checked that earlier. Oil temperature is still good. Well, it's a little bit high at the moment because I'm down on the ground, still ragging, ragging the hell out of it. I'll drop that down, CHT is fine, park and brake release. Yeah, it hasn't told me to put the throttle back to a thousand RPM, so Oh it did, I missed it. So we'll let that old temperature drop back down a bit. I'll get the get back to a thousand. We'll double check those temps. Back switch still vacuum still good. All temperatures come back down within limits. And is above 75 degrees, so it's fine. That's fine. CHT's a bit high. Should be 250 degrees minimum, but it is a little bit in the yellow, but that's because, I guess, because I'm sat here on the ground. So that's it, apart from takeoff. So the run up is complete. That said, I actually need to disappear off because I need to get the door. So I'm going to have to be back in a second. Okay. Sorry, mate. Yeah, I just, uh, that guy's just texted me. He's going to be around to drop his 
thingy off, so I need to go and see him. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, mate. I used to have a simple one. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. First, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remember. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune of in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks, I held on to that thought. I told the valley from my mother's stories. It's...
sorry. <sighs> ah, yes, back. Yeah, he went to a site in Bristol on the weekend. Said it was terrible. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So there was players arguing all, excuse me, all the time. They were marshalling was terrible. Yeah. Um, he said that um, there was nowhere to park. They don't have parking. It cost him seventeen pound to park in the city centre all day. <laughs> like, Bloody hell. Yeah, he said he just said it wasn't very good. So there we go. Right. So I need to take off. Um, I need to do. I've just knocked off the footplate off my rudder pedals because I'm silly. I'm a silly boy. <clears throat> okay, lean the mixture again. Let's. Come in. Let's taxi ourselves to the active, so it doesn't look like anyone's there. On final, is this just. Oh, it's a holding area for. That's fine. 1 1, no one's coming that way. So let's announce take off. And I am travelling to the west. Kilo Alpha Whiskey Oscar, traffic November 9 or 8, 3 Sierra Lima, taking off runway Straight 106 West. landing a record on. How did he get your number then? Uh, Facebook. Oh, nice. Alright, mixture full rich. Probably just see if there's some kind of retake off checklist I should be checking. Nope. Just power and off we go. Now we start bringing the power up. Get off the brakes. Rotate at about 70 knots, which is there. Yeah. Oh. Airborne time locked. It's positive rate. Let's get some trim in. Go for gear. Gears up fine. Got the power back to 25 inches. Climb out at about 90 knots. The flaps up. There's 800 feet. Let's turn to game. Yeah. The, uh, medieval Dynasties. Alright. It's like um, create your own medieval kingdom, but it's like crafting and all sorts and, and you got hunt for you got energy, food, water and I can't remember what the yellow bar is, but yeah, so it's quite cool. I see. It's in um, Alpha at the moment but it's had two thousand two hundred very positive reviews. <laughs> so I drop RPM back to 2400 initially whilst I climb out to 25 and there it is fuck oh no shoot let's get 
20 inches there. Let's keep it coming down. Let's go 2300 on the RPM. Still climbing like a rocket. Let's set our altitude here to 2500 RPM. So I need to go I don't know how to use this right there's altitude hold which is not what I want oh the click spots in this plane sometimes can be frustrating We're blown way off course. <laughs> it's all going wrong, Joe. Because the yeah, autopilot, yeah, yeah. the autopilot in this plane is confusing. I don't know if they've modelled it right or something, but it's just not. Doesn't seem to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Right, let's get the plane leaned out properly as well. I'm supposed to be flying, it's not telling me here. It's really annoying. I'm just going to have to click it into nav mode and hope it finds it. Let's see if I can get Whidbey on the tower anyway. Runway, Niner. 
Okay. Runway 25 on here. Do they have an on nav? They do. Pretty much coming. Down from the side. Let's go back to heading hold. Runway. Is it two five? Oh, we're losing it. We're losing it, Jim. There we go. Two five zero. And what is the actual course for it? Two four nine. There we go. And I don't know if you heard. There was the bug again. Well, my glare shield brightness has been tweaked. Thankfully, it's not taking out the electrics, but it does it. Do you speak to someone on YouTube, though? No, I'm just generally talking. Oh, no, I just thought I had you say Jim, like someone was chatting to you on YouTube. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just saying a name for the hell of saying a name. Oh. Fair. Box. I was like, oh, it's such a good viewer. Elevation is that, so in a minute I'm going to drop down to a thousand feet. How far out are we? Not far, I'm going to start the descent down to a thousand feet. All oh, these click spots. thousand feet a minute, that's fine. Is it actually going to hold us at a selected altitude though? Or is it going to take us right below? How's it? Let's start turning in towards the runway now anyway. We should probably get a visual on it very soon. Over there somewhere I believe. So let's keep heading at 270 and then we'll get on it very soon. There's the light. Well, I'm going to slow the rate of descent up. Just in case it is going to overshoot. I can quickly get on altitude hold. I built my first house, sir. Nice. Oh, shit, there's bison behind. Right, coming up on a thousand now. Stand up on the altitude hold, but let's see if it holds me because I did pre select a thousand feet. Oh, nice. No, it's just descended me past it. So there's altitude hold. Speed. Let's get some flaps in. They've so completely been ignoring the checklists. There we go. I'm going to switch over to the left tank. There we go. Let's get landing lights on. Approach for landing. Landing gear extend below 140 knots. We could probably do that now, couldn't we? 
So let's get the landing gear down. Mixture full rich when on final, propeller high RPM on final. I'm already there. Boost switches are off. Fuel selector to the fullest tank. Wing flaps to takeoff position, full down below 110, which we are, but I'm not doing that yet. Everything is done. Verified parking brake is off, which it is. A landing clearance. Clear to land runway two five three Sierra Lima. One nine two of five. Okay. So landing checklist. Approach checklist is complete. Airspeed I'm gonna try and get somewhere near uh, seventy five knots. Ideally, let's get our second notch of flaps in. We're on final, so let's go full rich. Let's turn on down the runway. I'm going to get back to my page that has my V speeds. Normal approach. Yeah, 75 KIAS. Let's take the autopilot off. for 75 knots. Which I can do, but it means I can't really see the bloody runway. What I do need to do is just to get that rudder trim back into the centre. to approach at 80 knots, I think. Otherwise I can't see what I'm doing. That's cool, you can create rabbit traps and stuff. There's 75 knots or so. If I just customise the view a bit, I can do it. It's trimming. As we go. Probably do it descending a bit better. trying to keep at 75 knots. They are a bit high. Fall out the sky nice and gently. Landing time locked. Landed at Kilo November Uniform Whiskey. Whitby Island NAS slash Alt Field. I'm just going to let it roll out. Let's get the flaps up. Taxi lights on. It's actually a runway. I thought it was a taxiway. It's not. Fuck. I put my trap down, but I can't remember where I put it. Going to one two one decimal 
Ah, oh. ask you hold it left shift and see what you. So, taxi after landing, throttle is required, of course. That's already done. Fused fuel, pump, fuel boost pump switches off, which they already are. Wing flaps retract, just done there. Elevator trim, back to the takeoff setting. Just about there. Let's turn this taxiway. Avionics and radios as desired. Well, I'm still using them, so I suppose we can switch them off, can't we? I'll leave them on. Uh, interior, exterior lights as desired. Oh, don't overturn. Right, we're off the runway. Strobes and landing lights and recognition lights off. To trim switch can now go to neutral uh, off switch. Sorry, there. Else is fine. Clear the autopilot off. And Sponder can go to on. Mixture out a bit better. Oh, no, we were about there. Fine. I'm going to have to solve this Navigraph charts issue because it's times like these then I realise how much I miss it. Somewhere near the fuel, I think. Over one of these hangers there, these light brown hangers. Park and brake on. Okay. Shut down park and brake set. Throttle is idle. Let's turn the avionics off now. Uh, interior, exterior lights off. Well, yeah, absolutely. So taxi lights off. Nav lights can go off. Turn the beacon off. Pito heat off, which it already is. I'm not going to do a grounding check on the magnetos. Exchange idle cut off. End of flight. Registered on switch off. Master switch. It's going to be off as well. We'll turn the magnetos off too. Drop back. So 
master switch off as well. Let's get the doors open. And then electrical switches, interior light switch, and parking. Uh, yeah, that's basically everything with the checklist. We are done. So that is that. <clears throat> uh, channel survive this. Survive for a season. So let's go and see what on there has to say. Well done, thank you very much. Wash tub, archery. What are you saying is there then? Nice. KNUW to KBLI KBLI to KB KBBS That'd be it. Oh, well, what Alex was up to then? Let's just see if we have anything that's going to KPDX. No. The shame. What about from KBLI? Then what about 1S2? Our home base. No, oh, well, this is sad. K A W O. Well, that's just, that's sad. Okay. Who? <sighs> Right guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I might just finish these flights off uh, off stream. Um, just if I get them out of the way, I want the benefits with the, the XP points and skill tree stuff. So I'm going to do that, but uh, I will. Don't know if I'm going to do that tonight, but I'll do those off stream most likely. But uh, yeah, if you've tuned in, thank you very much. If you watch after the stream as a YouTube video, I hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button and all that stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys.